So hi guys, this is uh, part three of the uh, photo shoot of the new forest with Charlene, and um, basically we um, managed to capture a really cool shot here, which is actually the water droplets dripping off her toes. Um, really, really cool, and that's why I burst shot. I was trying to capture some kind of movement of some sort, and it paid off. So that worked nicely. Um, anyway, we carried on shooting for a little while here, and then we moved um, to different areas of the woodland or forest, um, and then carried on shooting. This one, so I'll do it a right. If you do it now. No, flick the water at me once. Oh. Ready? Stop. Sun's out. Yeah! Um. Cool, right. So we found out that um, Charlene's wellies don't um, leak, and that's a you know the hunter wellies, apparently very expensive. Um, so it's a little uh, dig there for for hunter. Uh, anyway, so yeah, we carried on shooting here for a little while, and. Um, basically messing around with a little bit of slow motion video which you'll see in a second um, but yeah this this location to a degree was a little bit limited it was quite busy over to our right hand side so we didn't really go over that way and actually the cars going past are quite constant so we couldn't really get away with using the bridge um, but anyway so we we shot this a um, little bit of slow motion there um, shot at 500 frames per second which worked quite nicely and um, the photos I took as well at the same time uh, so this, these are shot on the RX10 Mark IV. Uh, basically, you can see um, the eye autofocus just ignores the uh, water droplets, even though it's right in front of her face, uh, not this one, but the next shot um, comes right up, and I have basically got 10, 15 shots, um, all with her eyes sharp, and it ignored the water completely, which I was very impressed with. Um, worked really well, and we did that three or four times, I'd say, um, to get the... Uh, sort of the right look it's very difficult when in situations like this you can't necessarily get the water to do what it wants so one time it went up and it was a massive splash covered her face completely couldn't even see her and then obviously a few times she did it like this and it just ended up with splatters which worked quite well um, and then we just did some out of the ordinary kind of uh, shots like this and it's just funny because she's wearing wellies you know it's kind of it's winter um, she was wearing wellies it was cold bless her and she did persevere um, but uh, obviously, ideally, if it was summer and the water was warmer, it would have been uh, barefoot. Um, but they kind of work. It's kind of different. It's not the same as what it would be normally. 90% um, of these shots have hardly been edited at all. A couple of tweaks here or there. Uh, we'll see black and white conversion. Um, we were very fortunate the sun was coming out um, quite regularly. But as you heard back in the video, the sun came out and it obviously we shouted about it because it had actually gone in for about half an hour. And we were just kind of like, there's no light. Um, and we were trying to keep it as natural light as possible. Yes, I was filling in with a with a flash gun onto the right hand side most of the time, um, but obviously natural light is the most flattering light that you know, especially if you're outside, and uh, especially in the middle of a river as well, which is quite difficult to get the, the lighting too close to her um, or closer to her. Um, but worked really well. That 135G Master lens, absolutely stunner. Absolutely love it because it gives you the reach. This is where. It comes into its own. If you've got an 85 millimeter, I'd have to be stood in the river. Um, you know, it's, it's not really going to work. Uh, you know, if you've got a 70 to 200, yeah, not really a problem. Um, but having that 135 uh, reflection shot here worked really nicely. I was basically stood in the river because the angle to get the angle right, I had to go in about a foot or so into the water. But um, waterproof Gore-Tex shoes on made makes that usable. Uh, but yeah, no, really, really. Even though it looks quite flat, the light, it was quite flattering, so it worked quite nicely. And I don't like um, shots, especially out in the nature like this, too vivid. So it really works in my eyes. It worked really nicely in uh, black and white, which was really, really cool. Anyway, we um, changed um, location. Right. Country girl. Yeah. Out the country. <laughs> country bumpkin. Country bumpkin. Yeah. Nice light. yeah, it's good. Um, shoot around. Lean against it, like with your shoulder. Oh, your shoulder. That's your back. That's cool. If you stood on the branch, on the actual dead branch. This one. Yeah. And Go back a bit, so you actually got one hand on the tree. Yeah, something like that. Looks quite cool. 
So completely different look here. Uh, clothes on this time, so jeans and sort of like a, a checkered shirt, but it worked quite well. Sort of being in the countryside, kind of a bit of a farmer's girl look kind of thing. Uh, worked quite nice. And obviously, a bit of blue sky there, uh, which is um, you know where the sun was actually peeping out a little bit. And um, but the trees and everything were so interesting. They had all this moss and the textures are really thick bark, which um, really adds to the uh, the views and the the, the sort of feel of the images um it's like a soft carpet it's weird stuff to touch but it's um you know uh really interesting obviously great for wildlife as well because you get the um i think they're called tree tree keeper uh, tree creepers sorry the um the birds little tree uh, creepers they were all over the place just bouncing in and getting little bugs that we couldn't even see um so it was quite cool to watch um but yeah another easy simple background just utilizing nature as much as possible and uh, just work with charlene there and uh, yeah, very pleased with the, uh, the shots. Sort of drizzly, misly bollocks, isn't it? Uh, they might be a bit hard, so don't touch them. They'll probably, they'll probably walk away anyway. Looks like the. Uh... Natural. Is it? Yeah. Natural. Oh, it's so big actually, aren't they? There's one with a rider on it, isn't there? <laughs> hmm. Yeah, they're not very sociable. They sort of look at it and go, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably just going to carry on eating. Oh, you might come over, look. So guys, we basically swapped uh, location just the other side of the forest, so quite a bit of a drive, but um, there's a spot I know of which is a really nice, uh, proper man-made forest, I say. Uh, all the trees are in lines, it's a bit more spread out, um, quite a lot less messier, there's not so many trees falling down, um, well, I wasn't expecting to be, and uh, it just looks quite a bit different. Um, obviously, plenty of horses everywhere still, and doing their own thing. Uh, managed to get a couple of shots just, uh, just of interest, really. As you can see, the 135 doing a good job, don't even have to go anywhere near them. So that, that worked quite well. Um, some of the horses are really friendly, some want to come say hello, some don't. Just don't feed them because obviously they they are wild and if they start getting fed, obviously they uh, uh, start becoming a, a, bit, a bit annoying and uh, whatnot. So anyway, we um, carried on shooting. So we've vacated to the woods now because it's gone horrible. <laughs> It's not quite raining yet, but I said it was sunny earlier. Done pretty well. So, forest time, literally. Oh, Christ. Further up. And then, uh. Oh, it's wet. It's wet. Is it damp? Yeah. Oh, you got a damp bum. Someone's got a damn bottom. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> you alright? Yeah, it's gonna make my jeans wet. What should I do? Put a bit of, put a bit of bracken, rip a bit of bracken, sit on it. Yeah, it might. A couple of bits of that, sorted. <laughs> Out in the nature. Literally. I wouldn't recommend wiping your bum with it. No. Probably a little bit coarse. Yeah. Um, just in case you have coronavirus and you need some toilet paper. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm already wetting. Looks quite cool with the wellies, actually. We've gone for the. Ah, oh, you bastard. That's really spiky. Yeah. As in, dug into my leg. Kind of spiky, that bit. Won't do it again because I just. Hurt me! Huh? Yeah, because you'll stick out. It's good. Hence why I said white top and yeah. looks cool. Right. <laughs> uh, do you want to lean against this tree? Yeah. Maybe this side, because I've got nothing going. Yeah. It's not too bad up here actually. It's a little bit breezy, but it's not as bad as down there. So the light was 
going. It was uh, getting duller and duller and duller, and it was starting to rain. It was getting colder. It was getting windier. So basically, from going from a really beautiful morning to sort of into lunchtime and uh, a little bit into the afternoon, it was quite good. But then it deteriorated quicker and you know, started to go really quickly. Um, so this was kind of the end of the shoot. So here are some of the um, the shots um, that we managed to get up in this little bit of woodland here. And uh, Charlene persevered and said, no, it's cool, we're going to keep going for a bit. I was like, right, fine. But it was cold, it was getting colder. Um, and uh, it, just, it just became Neh. Which is a real shame because it would have been quite cool to have had a decent sunset or something where we would have actually hung around and actually managed to um, get something a little bit different. But there's always another time, we can never say never. Um, but anyway, yeah, so some of these shots here... Um, just natural light these ones so I opened up wide turned the ISO up to about 400 um, which gave me a, you know plenty of shutter speeds plenty of uh, uh, lights and everything there so it was a usable uh, still a usable day um, the the uh, fern or bracken or whatever you want to call it, it is it was perfect this time of year it's that golden sort of yellow color so it adds to the shots um, you know even in black and white it just looks it looks interesting and uh, yeah so all in all um, really good shoot um, even though it didn't go to plan originally because um, obviously she was late and uh, it could have been better if, we, if we'd if we got there on time and uh, managed to uh, get going earlier which kind of threw everything off a little bit um, but we still did well um, not dissing that at all um, but things happen and you just got to keep doing it so you know the fact that we carried on shooting um, you know as long as we could um, made all the difference and we still got some cool shots um, she's really pleased with the images, I'm really pleased with the images, so that's the most important thing at the end of the day. This video here is um, you know, part one, two and three are just a documentation of the day. Um, if you've enjoyed it please click the uh, the like button, that'd be great. And um, any comments below, um, you know, feel free to uh, let us know what you think of the videos and everything, that's cool. Um, and any questions about the A7R4 or the RX10 Mark IV, 135G Master, um, or even the Sony um, H4. L, is it HVLF 60RM flash gun and the um, Pixel King Pro wireless high, high speed sync um, flash triggers as well. They work really well. Um, but yeah, so you know, these are the, some of the shots that we got near at the end. Um, I would say, very pleased with what, to, what we managed to capture. Um, just a shame we didn't have a little bit more time because if we did, there would have been a few other places I would like to have gone to. Um, one was down the beach, and there's another actual lake. Um, which is further north, sort of west um, of the forest, which would have been really cool. Um, but unfortunately, it's a large place, and it actually takes you quite a long time to drive across because one, you've got a 40 mile an hour speed limit, and two, the roads are all over the place. So, anyway, it's getting a good day, isn't it? Yeah. Get up late, lose your car keys. Uh... It's all fun. We'll find them. They'll be in there somewhere. You can't have gone far because you literally no. had them. Haven't you? So at the end of the day, Charlene decided to mislay her car keys, which were in the boot, um, just under a load of clothes, which was quite funny. So it was just one of those moments of like, oh dear. So that was it, guys. Um, Travelling home took me three and a half hours to do 120 miles, I think it was, or slightly less, um, which kind of sucked. But traffic was really busy, and uh, it was about five o'clock when we left. So um, kind of annoying, but never mind. Um, it was great. And, uh, you know, it was a good day all in all. Um, just a very long one. But... That's what it is, and uh, just glad we did it. Glad we managed to uh, catch up. And obviously, the coronavirus and COVID-19 is well under, um, you know, in England. So unfortunately, we can't do anything like this at the moment. And uh, please, everyone, be safe. Um, obviously, do as we're told, kind of thing. Don't go out if you don't have to, and all that sort of stuff. But you know, look forward, looking forward to actually getting out shooting again as soon as we can. Um, because obviously photo shoots and stuff like this at the moment are kind of non-existent and it's, uh, I'm just glad I saved it, um, the video until now just to kind of give people a little bit of uh, you know, um, inspiration and stuff for once we uh, get back out into the normal world again and uh, everything so don't forget to click the subscribe button and also the um, little notification bell as well that'd be amazing and uh, there's going to be some other videos coming soon I've still got a few other ones that I need to put together so um, hopefully that will keep you interested and uh, give you something to do while we're all stuck at home doing uh, not a lot so anyway I shall see you soon